How many yards did you pick up? I believe it was about 170. Now, I understand there were a couple of runs actually called back. Uh, uh, you think maybe you're going to go over 200 sometime this year? <laughs> I don't know. I'd like to, but I thought I was real fortunate to get that many yards. Uh, our blocking was excellent, and all I had to do was run with the ball. And If our blocking stays like it was against A&M, I could get over 200 yards, but we'll just have to wait and see, I guess. You know, James, many of the sports writers who went, including Pat, truly said that one of the big things was the the difference in spirit, the attack, the aggressiveness of the people. How about this? Uh, yeah, this is bound to be a big factor. We felt we were, we were ready for the game. We always like to play the Aggies. You don't have to have any pep talks to get up for A&M. Uh, and you could just feel the electricity in the dressing room before the ball game, and especially at half. We we knew we were getting things together, and it was just just a matter of going out and doing what we had to do. How about the rest of the season now? Well, as you know, all the Southwest Conference teams, any one could beat another one on any given Saturday. So we're gonna we feel that we have a lot better team than we started out with, and we finally got everything rolling. And we feel that we're going to come in real high in the standings. There are several stages to every election. The first, of course, is name identification. The political tactics of each side proceed through the predetermined steps straight to the election. At this stage, getting down to the wire, it's challenge time. Now that's the point at which the out party, in this case the Republicans, challenges the in party to debates on the issues. Running true to form, Tarrant County GOP Chairman Roger Hunsaker called a news conference this morning to issue such a challenge. Tarrant County Republican legislative candidates believe that the voters have a right to know the issues and where all candidates stand on these issues. This is the only way we can have intelligent voting by our citizens. To further this goal, all of the GOP legislative candidates are issuing this morning by telegram challenges to their Democrat opponents to appear in a debate to inform the public of their views. These telegrams read in part, I sincerely urge you to accept this invitation to appear with me at a meeting open to the press and all concerned citizens and along with all other contested legislative candidates for the purpose of informing the voters of our positions on the important issues of this campaign, such as the rising crime rate, soaring state spending, skyrocketing taxes, and campus violence. Some of the candidates said this morning that they not only have had no chance to debate their opponents, they haven't even seen them since the primary. So it's gone in every election, so it shall be in the future. J. Lewis, Channel 8 News on the Move, Fort Worth. Well, I tell you, it's, it's wonderful for people to constantly remember that they are in Vietnam. I think it gives us renewed emphasis and encouragement to bring them home because uh, sometimes we forget that men are fighting that war over in Vietnam. And those of you that have, have people over there, they remember it every minute. And the rest of us should keep it on our minds all of the time because we're going to bring all of them home. And I hope we have all of them home in 1971. This is Jeffries. You're working on this thing. Your husband is in North Vietnam now. How vital is supporting our men to you? It's very vital. They're always running the Hanoi, um, Hanna uh, radio programs to them twice a day. And all they ever do is tell about the dissension in the United States. And I think we need to get behind our men. They put their lives on the line for this country. And I think we ought to show them some support.
we first went to the site, we and a representative of the fire department and the building inspector's staff, and uh, visited this uh, regrettable scene and determined in our own mind then thereafter by considerable study and review of parallel codes that the present code is adequate in that it provides two means towards safety once a person has exited his own front door or door. Uh, and I note at this point that the original uh, building there where this uh, Parker incident occurred was built under an earlier and uh, considerably less restrictive code than we now work under. have been listening to what the mayor has told us that uh, one of the reasons that they can't uh, uh, provide any more money for <clears throat> Fair Park homeowners is, was because of the uh, increased cost to the taxpayers. And what we're saying is if they can do it for one, why not for others? Well now, in the past we've had court suits or court cases where the Fair Park homeowners have been given equitable set settlements. Uh, do you feel that this has been unfair, or do you feel that we should have more of them, or exactly what are you asking? Well, I don't think there have been uh, equitable settlements for the Fair Park homeowners, on, on, maybe in a few cases, but not for all of the homeowners. They have not received um, fair prices in the, even in the commission of courts. Some of the commission of courts even gave less than what the city had offered, which was not fair at all. Well, what do you really expect the city to do now? Well, whatever they, they if they're going to do something about other, um, like the crossroads and for the city hall, I feel like they could do something about homeowners. Marijuana, or do you have the hard drugs in the young people as well? Uh, well, of course, with the very young, with the elementary school, uh, they have found the marijuana and the glue uh, sniffing mm -hmm. most. Is this widespread in Tarrant County? It's, it's very widespread. It's, it's, uh, it's really horrifying when you realize how widespread it is, and also when you realize that there are a great many people who don't want to get off it. I mean, we had um, uh, students who uh, uh, just definitely say that they don't want to get off it. The nurse uses a pressure gun. The shot is really harmless, and compared to the needle, you can hardly feel it. So I can't see why any of these young people would complain. No, 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 no. For WFAA News, this is Jeff Brown. <laughs> They found um, children even uh, 10 years old uh, using drugs. 
Uh, and uh, in course, Tarrant County. In Tarrant County, a ten-year-old girl was found last summer in um, in the park. Um, and of course, do you call glue uh, sniffing a drug? Because some of the effects are just as bad, and some of these young children are glue sniffing in a in a big way. The youngsters here at David G. Burnett School are among 200,000 in Dallas County that should be immunized. The purpose of the County Y program is to stop rubella, or what mothers call little measles. German measles runs in cycles of about six years. The measles won't hurt the child, but will hurt his unborn brother or sister. Six years ago, 60,000 children were born deaf, blind, or otherwise deformed. 20,000 young people died. Well, we want uh, to wait until the committee meets with the city council, and once that has been done, and if the city council makes no action, or at least if they adopt the committee report that uh, was presented today, and uh, they do not adhere to Mr. Parker's request, then we will seek an injunction. Now, you say you are not happy with today's report. In what way, specifically, are you not happy with it? Specifically, today's report rejects the requirement of a rear door in apartment units. A telegram was sent to Mayor Eric Johnson and the city councilman, and it reads as follows. In view of the fact that Fair Park property owners have been told by the mayor that one of the difficulties in getting them a more equitable settlement for their land is the increased cost to the taxpayers. We regret that the City Council feels compelled to seek to provide additional funds for a new City Hall and the Crossroads Community Center at additional cost to the taxpayers, yet fails to provide the necessary funds for the Fair Park homeowners.